This is a review of the Alliant credit card. They have a cash back card of 2.5%. The good thing about a cash back card is you know exactly what you're getting. You're getting a percentage back on everything you spend. The bad thing about a cash back card is that it's not as hackable, meaning you can't use it on miles for a plane trip or something and get two to three times what you would normally get, which I'll show in other card reviews. But this is one of my favorite cards because they give you 2.5% back. I'll put a link to the site. As you can see, they don't put it right in your face because I think this is something that most cards don't do. You'll see some these days with 2%, but this is 2.5%. Now here's the thing. It's a 2.5% card. There's no annual fee. That's really nice. I have some cards that have annual fees, even though they give cash back. The cash back is on every category. None of this stuff where you can only use it for travel or you can only use it for shopping at particular stores. None of that. It's 2.5% back, but just on the first 10,000. It says 10,000 of qualifying eligible purchases. What does that mean? Well, if you scroll down, it says the first 10,000 of eligible purchases per billing cycle. So it's not just 10,000 per year. There are some cards that'll say first thousand dollars you spend over the course of a year will give you a certain percentage back. No, this is 2.5% back. Ev essentially think of it as every month you use the card. Now you might think, wow, $10,000, I'm not gonna spend that much a month. You'd be surprised how many people use their card and spend $10,000. You might use it in a business. You might buy advertising online, who knows? So that's a lot, obviously. 2.5% back on $10,000 is $250. That's way more than 1% back, which would give you $100, or 1.5, which would give you 150. This is significantly more. Now, once you go over 10,000 that first month, you'll get 1.5% back over that. But this is a card that you'll use up to 10,000, two and a half back. Now they have their own qualifications in order to give you this 2.5 back. It seems confusing, but it's not. They call this their tier one rewards. So tier one is 2.5% up to 10,000. You spend over 10,000 and that, that you, the amount over, you'll get 1.5, that's what they call their tier two. So how do you get your tier one every month? And I do use this card. And if I go over 10,000, I just use another card that gives me 2%. But here's how you get tier one. Here's how you get your 2.5%. Three things. One, you have to have an account with this. It's the Alliant Credit Union even though it's basically like a bank, you have to receive e-statements. Pretty sure everyone knows what that is. You go in, you click a button, you say, I don't want to receive a paper copy in the mail, just give me the e-statement. Done, that's really simple. The next two things go hand in hand. First, you have to have a checking account with them. It costs nothing to set up the checking account. You have to maintain a daily balance of $1,000. So all that means is you need to keep $1,000 in that account. So you might be thinking, all right, I got to throw $1,000 into this card on day one. I'm sorry, into a checking account. Just let it sit, let it earn interest, and you'll be able to get 2.5%. The nice thing is they give you, it says you'll automatically get the 2.5% for 100 days. So a little over three months. So you have three months to put the $1,000 in. So just deposit three to $400 a month for three months and you'll have your grant. Meanwhile, you'll get you 2.5%. So sign up for e-statements open a checking account. And when you open the checking account within three months, you get a thousand dollars in there. And then here's what they do. At least one electronic deposit posted each calendar month. And that counts a direct deposit. The easiest thing to do is to log in and just send, doesn't matter, $25, $50, $100 every month from one account at a different bank checking account over to this one. And it's real simple. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. So you set up your account, you get $1,000 in there, you deposit 50 to $100 every month, and you're gonna get 2.5% back on the first $10,000. That's significant. That's one of the best cash back cards out there with no annual fee. And if you look here on the checking account that you open with them to put the $1,000 in, there's no service fees. So they're not taking $10 out every month or whatever it may be. So now I'll show you, I've already logged into my account. On the left-hand side here, I've got different accounts, checking, savings, the cashback card. I'll go into the checking account and it's real simple. All you have to do is go to transfer 
and it's gonna say make a transfer. These aren't just internal, these are external as well. So you scroll down, you say new external account, and it's gonna walk you through a very simple process. You just grab your checkbook from another bank account. You're gonna enter the routing number, which is the bottom of the check, the account number, which is the bottom of the check. I'm assuming you've done this a million times. And then you tell it, hey, send $50 on the 15th of every month. Now you've met the criteria of making a deposit. That's it. Real simple, quick. I'll have a link in the bottom. It's the Alliant card, 2.5% up to $10,000 cash back. Doesn't matter what you spend it on. No fees, no checking fees. Just follow their three simple rules, which you can automate by having a direct deposit every month and you'll never have to think about it again. One of my favorite cards, I use it every month.